What's up everybody, welcome back to another Half Scale Formula 1 video and today, as requested by one of you guys, we're going to go through my Mick Schumacher collection and it's quite a big one. Yo, thank you, thank you. Alright, so um, as you guys see in my intro, I have Mick Schumacher signing a few of, of his mini helmets that he's released and quite frankly, I've pretty much got every single mini helmet Mick Schumacher has released except for one. Um, they're all signed by Mick except for obviously one that I don't have, um, which I will get into after in this video. But besides that, I've got every single helmet that Mick Schumacher has released, all signed by Mick at the Australian Grand Prix. And yeah, so let's get into the video. So. Uh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine helmets here to show you guys. Um, and let's go through it. So helmet number, I've got to pick random one. So helmet number one, let's go with this one here. Boom. Mick Schumacher's Abu Dhabi test helmet signed by Mick. And let's just go through the helmet here. So I'll go through them and then I can talk about it and stuff. And that's that one there. And obviously white underneath. So this is actually one of my favorite helmets that he's released. I, didn't, I wasn't going to buy it. Uh, and I was like, oh... Should I get it? Should I not? And then I ended up getting it from DRM. Link down below, guys. That's where I get my helmets from. Really super cool piece. At the top, it's got the 50 on the top here. Or maybe like that better. I can't really see it because of the camera. But it's got 50 on the top. And then obviously the Ferrari Driver Academy at the back when Mick was signed to the Ferrari Driver Academy. So that's that one there. The next Mick Schumacher piece I've got. So his signature is obviously varied on each helmet, but... I do have like really clean Mick, Mick Schumacher signatures. Don't be fooled, guys. People try and sell Michael Schumacher helmets signed by Mick. I've seen it because uh, their signature is very, very similar. The next helmet I'll show you guys is Mick Schumacher's rookie season helmet. Boom. Right here. Haas signed by Mick Schumacher. There, as you guys can see, a comparison to both signatures from the helmet I just had here. It's a bit different, but yeah, it's sort of you can't be picky when you get signatures from these drivers. And this is probably the worst Mick Schumacher signature I've got, which is, you know, I'm, I'm not going to complain. But yeah, super cool piece. I'll show you guys the helmet here. Look at that. That's sick. Love this helmet because obviously it's his rookie season helmet. And still have the Ferrari Driver Academy on the side. So really, really cool piece. Mick Schumacher also did release. Here we go here. Boom. The Red Dragon helmet. So this was our halfway through his season at Haas. Mick Schumacher did a helmet change. That's the signature there. And let's just go through the actual helmet on the side, the back, and then obviously the top. It's got the red dragon compared to, of course, boom, the, the green dragon. So, which I'll show, bring this helmet out next. But yeah, super clean signature from Mick. Another really cool piece, black interior on the bottom. And then, as you can see, Mick does keep uh, sort of the same design. He has the stars like his dad on the top. And then obviously at the back, he's got the dragon. That's the comparison. So he does keep a sort of similar look and obviously keeps the same colors. He's only changed his colors a couple of times. Um, and I can show you guys that soon. But next time I'm going to show you guys is this one. Another season with Haas. Um, and then this is like a really clean mix signature, as you guys can tell. I'll show you guys the helmet. So very, very similar helmets. Now, I do, I do want to say, guys, that the only driver I collect, like multiple, I don't collect season, like uh, special edition helmets from drivers. The only driver I do collect special editions for is Big Schumacher because I'm a really big Michael Schumacher fan. Unfortunately, I have nothing signed by Michael. I never was, uh, never, I, I've seen him race and stuff live, but I was never really signature hunting and meeting drivers when I was a kid. But yeah, so I okay, go, you know what? I'm not going to miss out on Mick. I'm going to get everything I can get signed. So I'm only missing one helmet from Mick, which I will get into soon, but that's that one there. Well, this is like a really raw, uncut footage of just like, I got the phone out and then start recording. So hopefully you guys sort of like this style of content. I hope the lighting isn't too bad at the back there, but anyway, this, this is me talking to a camera, right? So next one we're going to go for is, boom, Mick Schumacher's Formula 3 season. Really cool, clean signature. I use a uni paint pen on all these guys, so definitely use uni paint pens. The top, very plain, this this helmet, but really cool piece. Uh, obviously, I was, I was like, yeah, this is my collection for sure. I bought this one, like one of the first ones I brought when Mick released his half scale. I was like, oh... 
I'm never probably going to see Mick like race. This is before obviously he was in Formula One, and it was never really coming to Australia. So I was like, oh, I'll get it, and then I'll probably get signed overseas or something. But obviously, Mick Schumacher signed for Haas, and I was able to get multiple Mick signatures. So that one there, plain, pretty cool piece. The next one will go this one here. Boom. Look at that. And that's a really clean Mick Schumacher signature too. Uh, I got the Richard Mill at the top. And then this is his, this is his Formula, I think it's his Formula 2 season when he won the championship. So that's that one here because you got the Ferrari Driver Academy on the top. I was like, I was trying to think what helmet this one was because I've got so many here. I get confused. I probably made a mistake. And if I have, please forgive me. Let's put this in the background there. So it looks cool in the video, right? All right, so that's that one there. Boom. Cool piece. The next one we have is, let's go this one here, is first season in Formula 2. Signed by Mick. Boom. Let's go around. This one is a bit different. It's got the back. It doesn't have the dragon. The top has the uh, stars. And obviously, the Ferrari Driver Academy on the bottom and the back. Sorry, the front and the back. But sort of the same color scheme, as you guys can tell. But this one has the dragon on the back. Sort of the same. This reminds me of Michael, the back there. I think, I think the cars are obviously for the German flag, I'm pretty sure. I'd, I'd imagine. And obviously kept the same color with the green. Uh, David Schumacher, his uh, cousin, also has a green helmet. I would love to see... I would love David to release like a whole bunch of like like mini helmets from his season and have them signed like on his website or something. So David Schumacher, if you're watching, please do that because I'd love to have half-scale versions of your helmet signed. Anything the Schumacher's touch, I want to be a part of. The next one, this one here. This one was when he was with Haas. He changed mid-season and they released a mini helmet line of this. This is the first time Mick has changed his color scheme uh, during the actual season, but it's a really cool piece. And as you guys can see, it's like a purple on the bottom, which is like sparkly. And yeah, signed obviously. Not the cleanest Mick signature, but can't complain. And that's the top. And you know it's real because obviously as you guys can see my intro Mick signing, but really cool, really cool, um, really cool piece this one. I wasn't the biggest fan when he changed his helmet into that color. I was a bit like, oh, I don't like halfway, like two seasons changing helmets, but sort of is what it is. And the last Mick Schumacher helmet that I've got in the collection is this one here, boom. This is where Mick Schumacher changed his helmet for like during Spa Grand Prix, you know, for tribute to his dad. And as you can see, it's signed, not a bad thing, just pretty clean, got the hearts at the back. And there we go, cool piece. Have to get it. The only thing is that that's a bit disappointing is that these are actually just stickers. They can come off. Um, so yeah, that's a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's my Mick Schumacher collection, guys. Now I'm only missing one, which is the Spa 2017. I'm pretty sure it was. With the half, I'll put the picture on the screen, but it's half Mick and half Michael. I haven't got that um, in my collection. So I've got to buy that one. I get it signed by Mick and then pretty much the whole Mick Schumacher collection will be complete. But yeah. Pretty cool. Now let's talk about Mick Schumacher. Like, is he an easy signature to get? He is. Um, he's pretty pretty chilled. He's getting more and more popular and stuff though because social media. So like this year he was pretty not hard to get, but he was more popular because he signed for Mercedes this and that. So I was a bit like, oh, okay, he's a bit more on the popular side. But his first year he was signing everyone. A really cool kid. Um, super polite. Signed everyone. Gave the pen back. You know there was a bit of hype around him, but it wasn't like a Lewis or anything. I thought there'd be more hype around Mick because of obviously him being a Schumacher, but a lot of these Netflix fans, I guess, don't really know too much about the Schumachers, right? So anyway, better for me because Mick's one of, probably one of my favorite drivers, obviously being a Schumacher, and he needs a drive next year. If I can talk about Mick quickly, where do I think I can, we'll see him going into next year, uh, 2024? He can maybe go to Alfa Romeo, maybe, like maybe they can pay out Bottas and he can drive with Joe. I think that's an option. Or maybe go to Williams. Haas won't take him. Obviously, they've signed Kevin Magnussen and, and um, Nico Hulkenberg. But I do have a story. I was at the Australian Grand Prix. I was waiting for... Who was I? I was waiting for Max... Oh, sorry. I was waiting for Lewis to come out of the paddock. But obviously, like, really, really late. Lewis didn't end up showing up that time. But that's okay. And I was speaking to a couple of Haas, like, people, like, in the garage. And we're just having a chat, whatever. I was like, how are the, like, drivers to work with? I was like, how's Kevin? Because I'm a Kevin Magnussen fan. He goes, yeah, you go. Kevin's really cool, blah, blah, blah. And I go, well, how was, like, the relationship with Mick Schumacher? And they're like, to me, oh... Mick's a really good kid, but like they're pretty much like he's a bit soft in the sense of like doesn't have direction with the team. Uh, like didn't really know what to like wasn't hard on the team in the sense like we need to do this, this, and this. That's what the, that's what they told me. I was like, okay, fair enough. So I, I just obviously agree, but I'm a massive Mick Schumacher fan. I think that Haas didn't really provide Mick with the uh, proper guidance. That's what I personally reckon. I'm, I'm on Ralph Schumacher side with that thing. 
Now people can say, oh, he crashed the car, crashed the car, but okay. So did Grosjean multiple times, like, like, come on, like, and who else? Grosjean, like, crashed multiple times. They kept him for, like, four seasons, whatever it was. Mick was, like, his first season done really well. He beat Mazepin consistently. Um, and then, obviously, okay, it took him a while to get points, but back, now that you're fighting in the midfield battle, like, give the kid a chance. But, yeah, I was a bit disappointed to hear that from Haas, but it is what it is. We've got all these beautiful helmets anyway. And, yeah, so, like I said, pretty cool... Uh, Dude, he signs. You can get if you bring visors for me, like just the visor part. Um, you can look. Like, you can take these off and just bring the visor. He will sign, but he'll only do like one visor and then that's it. Because I tried to get like two visors signed, and he's like just done one, and then obviously he got a bit like funny about it in the sense of like, oh, you a seller or something. But he didn't say that. But it's the vibe I got. Some drivers, like most drivers, actually get a bit weird about it. But yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, so you can bring visors. He will sign, but you can't get multiple signed at once. But yeah, super cool kid. Got photos with Mick and one of my favorite drivers. And the only driver I collect multiple helmets for, not just season helmets, because I like to collect just the season helmet from typical, like different drivers. So yeah, that's my Mick Schumacher collection. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next Formula One video. Thank you.